All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody in YouTube that's watching this video later on for some Sultai Flash. Um, ooh, Maskalar, don't spoil anything of what happened there with Avengers. I don't, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> but welcome back. All right, so what we have here is we have a a Sultai deck, you know, kind of like Sultai Midrange, where we have our deck built around Vivian, Champion of Wilds. You can see we have basically all creatures, like as many creatures as we can. Uh, besides the Vivians, we only have our other Vivians. It's kind of like Sultai Vivian. And a couple cast downs and a couple find finalities, really. But as you can see there, we can cast our creature spells as though they had Flash. That's kind of what we're going to be doing with this deck. So the, the main things that we want to be casting with Flash are Hostage Taker. Flash in a Hostage Taker is going to be really fun. And so that's that's kind of what we're doing. That's basically it. <laughs> All the rest of the deck doesn't really matter. We're, that's, that's honestly what we're doing here. Flashing in Hostage Taker. Um, sure, our... Vivians do some other stuff, and we have other creatures, but that's really what we're doing. We have a bunch of Frilled Mystics in our sideboard, so that against Control, we can keep four mana up and keep our Frilled Mystics available, and then we don't have to feel bad if we don't if they don't really play anything for us to counter, because with Vivian, we can flash in other creatures. So that's pretty cool, too. Um, I kind of wanted to put all the Frilled Mystics in the main deck, but it's hard to fit them in. Um, but that's what we got. We got a new card, Rolesk Apex Hydra hybrid also we'll see if this card does anything for us maybe maybe not who knows but yeah we got some big flying tramplers with hydroid crisis roalesque and doom whisper a bunch of big flying tramplers as well that we can flash in in surprise so let's let's give it a try yeah we could flash in thief of sanity also should we do which one should we do let's do let's just do a league I just kind of feel like doing a league here. We are... Yeah, we've been streaming for a little over 10 hours. This is where I start to maybe make a couple small mistakes. All right, so Orzhov Midrange, getting that up on YouTube right now. Yuck. Plus, Lanawar, Lanawar Elf on turn one, we could have Vivian, Champion of the Wilds, on turn two, potentially. Is it Gideon Blackblade? Is that right? Uh, the Orzhov list, we're talking about maybe changing two cards in the sideboard. Um, adding in a Dawnbringer and a Settle the Wreckage over an Oath of Kaya and to spark I want this thief No, these are the decks we've done over here today. Hey, good job, Matthew. You got played Grixis Dragons and went 5-0 in a league. Awesome. Where'd he go? Ew. 
If you surrender now, I'll still have time for t Let's tidy up in there. Gabriel. All I've left you is pain. I'm going to keep this forest in hand in case they have another This wasn't part of our contract. Like Davriel disinformation campaign, anything like that, something like where I just discard a card. I want to discard this forest. All right, well now we got a Vivian, so whatever. Wild animals, I love that can't help you now. I always survive. Take out the thief. No thief. And attack. Now, was that Liliana Triumph in Angrath's Rampage? Hmm. So lots of thieves. Looks like the scariest card. <laughs> yeah, who's the discard deck now? Three mana Domri is awesome. Yeah, that card's real good. So we can cut Wild Growth Walker, bring in Harpooner. Um... And one Frilled Mystic. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> my Stream Decker page has, has all the decks we've played today. Getting that uh, where's our mid range up on YouTube now? Ooh, Vivian. How this starts thing up goes four. is up to you, pal. So we can minus two. Tear it down. Tear it all down. We have to choose a creature, and then it's it's hidden from the opponent. Then we can just play that with Flash. Crisis, crisis. Hey, Chris, doing really good. Had a lot of fun playing War of the Spark standard today. Yeah, your opponent tried to hostage take your, your ill harg. You're just like, I'll put that back into my library. Thank you. to grow the crisis. Ruralesque does not have flash anymore.
I don't know if we really ever played Gruel Midrange against Control. We have not just seen very much Control at all, just in general. But I think that that Gruel Midrange deck is is well positioned against Control. You're loving new Liliana? Nice. I haven't I haven't really cast new Liliana yet. Haven't been able to do anything with it yet. Yeah, I, I am real excited when music comes out because there's Let me pick you know I play yeah because I do play so much and there's just like you know so many new cards to to build around. Yes, Gideons are are definitely safe to crafts. Yes, Gideon is. Gideon is incredible. All right, one and zero with Sultai Flash here. Didn't get to flash in Hostage Taker, but we still got to Hostage Taker Thief of Sanity twice, so that's good. Thief of Sanity steals fun, and we got to take that fun back. Ooh, this is a good one. We got turn two Vivian again. <clears throat> hey, 12i. When should you Chemister's Insight versus Kanta activation or Chemister's Insight Jumpstart versus Kanta activation? Yeah, so you want to basically, if you if you want to keep hitting land drops, cast your Chemister's Let's Insight. See if, you're worthy. if you have just tons and tons of lands and you don't like already in your hand, you got like more lands, and you don't need you don't need more lands. Then activate as Kanta. Strike now! Strike hard! So Vivian, remember, only gra only lets us cast creatures, so it doesn't make a lot of sense to <laughs> wait. You think nature is kind? Does it make a lot of sense to play anything else? Or to grab anything else with the minus ability? So this looks like Esper Control. We haven't we haven't faced Esper Control all day. This is our first time. Starting over is the no, only way. The Vivian. Hey, my chin doing good. Thank you, Yud. Hmm. There is wonder in so if they, if they would have played a Kaya's Wrath right there, I'd be playing the Hostage Taker to save my Branch Walker. That's where I'm kind of at, like right now. Like our opponent's got to do stuff. We just don't. We don't need to kill, do anything. So yeah. So there's the Kaya's Wrath. Let's get a branch walker back. So either that branch walker was going to be a 3 2, it was going to be more power. Show you what was lost. Or. I think I want to play Hydro Crisis. Oh, right. I could just wait on that anyway. <clears throat> I have not made a Bola Citadel deck yet. No, still planning on doing that. Um, absolutely loved...
absolutely loved um, a Johnny the Great Hearted in the uh, Five Color Reborn deck because we played against Mono Red three times. But yeah, that a Johnny the we're gonna have that in our Citadel deck. Mysteries of life are endless. I want to see if I'll hit a, a land drop here. Well, that's not a land drop, but. Yeah, bonds are flourishing, yep. Yeah, it'd be Abzan Citadel deck, yeah. Yeah, this Vivian's been awesome. Even even though we've whiffed twice on the minus. Like, think if we had two more cards if we didn't whiff twice on the minus. But it's a speed hostage taker is just great. I am not going to How's our this what's one our out. opponent thinking they're gonna do here? Yeah, like what are you doing with that Teferi? They're at six. I guess they could have yeah, no, they no matter what they did, they were take they were taking lethal. We we could flash in four we could put four more power on the battlefield. So even if they tucked our three power creature, we could put four more power on the battlefield with the Land War Elf and the Branch Walker that they knew about. Alright, Arcbow time. Frilled Mystic time. Wildgrowth Walker out. And uh, Do I take out a Choop, a Doom Whisper, or a Roalesque? Which one of these do I take out? Oh, Cast Downs. Duh, let's just take out both Cast Downs. Get a Harpooner back. Get a Harpooner in here. Maybe Contempt instead of a Harpooner. I don't know, that's like all fours. Let's get a Harpooner in. Gotta kill that Thief of Sandy. Get two Harpooners. No Roalesque. Esper Legends. Dude, we need... Yeah. These Legends decks. Yeah. We're going to do some sweet stuff with Legends. The Orzhov midrange deck was really good. Yeah, I liked it quite a bit. Um, it'll be up on YouTube soon. Maybe... It says three minutes, but it's it lies. It's not actually three minutes. It like, it's like three minutes until it gets to like the final spot, like where then it'll stop. Well, then it'll start. It's uh... so like maybe it's like 10, 10 to twenty minutes somewhere, somewhere like the ten to twenty minute range, is whenever it'll be up on YouTube. It gets to like ninety five. So like it basically, it it tells you like how much time is left, but it, what it really means is how much time is left until it's ninety five percent done. And then once it's 95% done, it kind of sits there for another, like, 5-10 minutes. And then gets published. Boo. I think I want to play another Branch Walker and Atlanta War Elf. Definitely wish I would have just kept the Chupacabra now. Of course, we didn't have the second Black Source, which is why I didn't keep it. Grand Warlord Rada is the card you're thinking of.
So we're quite a quite a bit ahead on life total. We're just gonna let them let them do their little thing with thief here. If they tap out, we kill them. They did not tap out. They are still alive. Hero of Precinct 1 and Oketra. Oketra looked really good. We played against a Bant deck with Oketra and uh, Prime Speaker Vanifar and Neoform, like that kind of stuff earlier. It looked really good. That's a good turn for us that they just wasted all their mana. That's, that's definitely a good turn for us because, you know, we are ahead here. Sometimes people get just too enamored with Thief, thinking that Thief's going to win you the game, but, you know, you can have extra cards, but if you're not casting them because you're dead, then it doesn't matter. All right, 2-0. Two and O. I can't. I can't pass up turn two, Vivian. That's what our deck's a boot. Cool. The play war spark code now working again. Very good. No, my Vivian. My Vivian, no. <laughs> well, it's going to be a lot harder to beat Esper whenever we draw both of our cast downs and a Chupacabra and have no black mana. But, like, those cards are dead anyway. Uh, I had one card that was good here. One card that got Thought Rager away. Maybe we'll draw another Vivian. Yeah, you can find, like, the decks that I've played are up here on the top left. You can find all of the lists. By doing exclamation point decks. So you can find all the lists. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. All things begin and end in nature. Find, found our black mana. Right on schedule. We need to move quickly. Yeah, Vivian. Yeah, Vivian's been good. This is our second time to have Vivian out. It's been good both of the times. You fight like a city brat. Is that an insult? 
Oh, cause I'm getting too old for this. Cause she's from the wilderness. You know what? I'm not done yet. Can you be though? <laughs> uh, I mean, it can be not in this matchup giving reach during. No, it's it's until your next turn. So yeah, they they do have so Vivian does have reach. Vivian does have or like the the creatures have reach when you're blocking. No, deckmaster isn't working yet. All right, now we draw five mana Vivian. Beginning. Five mana Vivian. Vivian. Dang. All right, attack there, attack there. So good news, they're down to two cards. You just let me know if you're up for round two. That Vivian did a lot. Bad news, we have like three dead cards in hand. Well, the, the Contempt is on our Vivian. You can't cast down a Vivian. So we could not deny them life with a cast down there. Oh, man, this is laggy. Come on. Come on, Arena. Arena, where you at? Come on. There you go. There you go. You can do it. Yeah, we're a little bit of a yeah. We're in a, a lag part right here. It's, it says that my stream is unstable right now. Stop drawing lands, deck. A control deck with Citadel and Revenge is a win con. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, this is the other Teferi. Ooh, bounce the Krasis. Bounce Krasis. Bounce Krasis. Let's try this. Dang. No more games. I've got time. So they can play instant speed Kaya's Wrath now. If they would like. Ah, instant speed Thought Razor. Cool. All my cards are bad. Wow. They have very, very little respect for Ravenous Chupacabra. Now what? They must have zero creatures. We have not drawn a single thing to do this whole time, but now our creatures aren't dying. Oh, I had to say something.
Yeah, now we can play Choop. Dang. Alright, let's see if we find another Krasis. Refill. We have just drawn a land for a long time. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 of our 24 lands. There's only 11 lands left. That's the good news. Only 10 lands left. How are we even in this game? How <laughs> are we not super dead? Alright, go. Land of off. You can do it. You can do it, bud. Six turns, you got this. Look at how, like, like that's a pretty threatening land of war elf, to be real. Chemistry's inside. That's a draw four. That's gonna be hard to beat. Never mind. Not hard to beat anymore. What do we have? 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15. So let's do 14. So, so 14 mana, so X is 12. 3, 6, 9, 12, 14. Okay, so X is 12. Never mind, that's a draw 6. I'd like this Hydrocrasis and this Hydrocrasis back, please. Thank you. <clears throat> Alright, well, we found a Krasis. Now can we beat Nascanta? If I play another Krasis, I'm going to have to just discard a lot of cards. I don't really want to just discard a lot of cards. So three, six... Seven, eight. Let's draw three. Four. Resolve. You haven't counter anything else. Yay. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. What else we got over here? <laughs> I've seen puppies whine less than you. <laughs> hey Eddie. Yeah, new Nivian or sorry, new Vivian has been really sweet. Uh, get rid of this cast down. Yeah, two days ago. Got a haircut two days ago. Yeah. I like our chances here. Hmm. Well, good thing we're not playing non-creature spells. Besides this Vivian that's already on the, the battlefield. We get to give our land or all vigilance, attack, and then use it. Home? That's busted. Mm -hmm. 
Thanks, Minasaur. Yeah, we've been playing some sweet decks today. We're gonna be just, you know, keep on doing it for a while. I mean, this is, this is what I do. Make new decks and, you know, if you ever have your, any decks that you would like to, to have built. I faced undead uh, horrors. The last two, the Warzog Midrange Child's and the Soul Tide, these two, these are both donations of, hey, can you build a deck around Gideon and can we build a deck around uh, a Soul Tide deck with Hostage Taker and Vivian. Um, Isamug with a donation. Did you ever play poker? I did not. No, I was never a poker player. Was I doing you? No, I said your donation. Back, I was a friend I'm going to make myself scared. Sorry, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. There. Um, sub number 29 on the day. We are one sub away from our latest sub goal. I imagine this is going to be lethal. I can't really imagine what they're going to have for five mana or six mana that's going to stop me from killing them this turn. Hey, Horatio. Launch day is treating me very well. So they can absorb one thing. Rock Daddy, and then Benefactor with the Twitch Prime subs, getting us to number 30 and 31. Y'all, if you're a subscriber, get some hypotes in the chat. We have gotten to three sub goal today. That is just amazing. Thank you all so much. We're planning on streaming for till the end of this league. Yeah, we're going to just flash in some more creatures. They already know about like the, the Hydro Crisis and everything. I did not think we were winning that game for the longest time. But then we just kind of did. Ooh. We got the alternate art find finality. The the blacked out find finality over here. So Arcbow. Like two Harpooners. No Wild Growth Walker. Yes, Frilled Mystic. Down to one Choop. I should play Contempt over the other Choop. All right, Maskler, I need to mod you on Discord. All right, just wrote that down. I'll do that. I have to manually mod everybody, like the whoever's a mod on here. I have to manually mod them on Discord. Ah, uh, dang. Looks like no. Sorry, no resolving arc bow on turn two. No, that's what you. Well, I guess I mean, we have some draw steps. You never know. You never know. So I'll be doing that like tomorrow, Maskelar, because after after the stream tonight, I'm going to be going to sleep. You know, we've already been streaming for uh, almost 11 hours now. I'm going to be crashing. All right, Orzhov Midrange is now up on YouTube as well. So all the previous videos are up on YouTube now. No, I haven't done any Simic Counters deck. Unfortunately, both of our creatures being 3-2s means that a Cry of the Carnarium 
does a lot. This could just be a Kai's Wrath, though. And then I Krasis and then they Teferi. Cycle. Really? Getting rid of Contempt? I guess they wanted lands that bad. So just getting another threat in play. So you don't just have like the one that they just kill at end step. Oh, awesome, Horatio. Rakdos Menagerie. Sweet. A while, this is not. <sighs> Not dead yet. Alright, we got Ascanta out of there. Y'all know how good Ascanta is and like how much card advantage that, that thing can provide. So I'm glad that's out of there. They're gonna I know my so harpooner to kill Vivian here. Ha! I've seen worse. Sorry, trying to untap. Keep up the pace. Yeah, mono red and mono white are still being played. Yeah, they, those are those have been the two most popular decks that we played against today. They're real easy deck day one decks to be playing. Uh, you know, will they be in, like in the long haul? Don't know, but today they've been really popular. Hmm. Resolve. Rude. No, I don't have the whole set. No time for a break. Uh, we got we opened 130 packs <laughs> earlier today and then been using wild cards after that for what we need. All right, so they got Eldritch Reborn also in their sideboard. Let's get Chupacabra back in here. I don't think Roe Alaska matters too much. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, come on, turn two, Vivian. Should be able to get there. You know, the, unless they have a, you know, a duress. Something mean like that. No, old Vivian is still really good, too. Um, Every fight makes me stronger. You can still walk away. Well, no creatures there. Unfortunately. So we just put... So we whiffed, just put two cards at the bottom of the library. For the fallen. Alright, Harpooner could just be Flash. Right. I didn't actually need to play that there. We got underneath a an absorb though. Right, I kind of forgot about the flash part for a second there. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, you think nature is kind? What feet? I'll be back, just like before. Vivian's taking over. Turns out turn two Vivian pretty good. Pretty good. All right, three and zero, oh. two and zero oh against some long games against Desper. I know, Krasis and Mystic. It's like, how do we choose? Can we choose Krasis or Mystic? Why couldn't we get one of them the first time and another one the second time? This deck's pretty cool. Yeah, turn two Vivian and then turn four Vivian. Works really well. Yeah, our opponent did not cite an Elder spell. Thankfully. No, I really like Chandra in that Gruul midrange deck. I like the damage that Chandra gets to deal. Um, I have I have little I think I yeah I have one copy of Little Vivian, Little Vivi, in the uh, sideboard of that deck. Okay, so we're doing a 12-hour stream today because we got to equip goal. As you see, we got to 40 people signing up for equip. Um, <clears throat> so if you would like to help support the stream, check out these sponsors. I'll talk about uh, the one on top, Harry's Razors, for just a minute here. I have a really good deal set up with Harry's. You can get a starter set, which is usually $13. You can get one sent to you for $3 with free shipping for U.S. UK, Canada, and support the stream. It's cheaper than subscribing, even. Really recommend it. How it works, go through my referral link there that I put in the chat. It's also in the info panel under the Harry's part. Um, sign up for a subscription, which you can cancel any any time, but it's just like to sign up to get more razors like the next month. Um, but you, you can cancel it if you'd like. But if you sign up, you, it knocks it from 13 t down to five um, uh, for the price there. And, or sorry, knocks five dollars off from thirteen dollars to eight dollars. And then if you use the coupon code Todd Stevens MTG as well, it knocks it down from eight down to three. So you get uh, five dollars each, eat five dollars off for each of those. Um, it's really just an amazing deal. I mean, you can't really get things shipped to your house for cheaper than that. And it's a good quality razor, uh, definitely worth the price. So. Please check it out, help support the stream, and get yourself a new razor with Harry's. 
So the the Ask Todd room is just the I've I need to I I rebranded that as the sub subscribers only room and I forgot it in the info panel I'm going to have to rebrand that too but that's just the subscribers only room So do I want finality for Drake's like if this is Drake's there's a chance it's like Phoenix Go graveyard. I the words I've mid range on YouTube should be 1080. I don't know why it wouldn't be. It maybe takes like a you know a couple minutes to be more than 360. Stop. Yeah, it does only say... Three sixty on mine also, right there. Not exactly sure why that would be. What does ASMR stand for? Hmm. I saw that reference the other day, too. I don't know what that stands for. This current song is PVRIS Holy, but you might have been um, talking about the previous one. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. There is wonder in a blade of grass. So Crisis for two isn't really exactly what I want to be doing. I'm going to take up the Vivian and maybe protect the Vivian with a Branch Walker, be able to flash in a Doom Whisper. Okay, so you've got claws. So they... Lava coiled the wrong creature. As you can see them saying, oops. I'm just gonna play this Vivian now. I've lost no one said... Ugh. Not dead yet. Have you ever lost a home? Okay. That was an easy win. Did not look good for us for a little bit there. Huh. Man, the opponent did not like that mistake. They're just like, I'm going to give up. Well, that was easy. All right, we are 4-0. Y'all know what that means. That means we have our final boss fight coming up here. All right, good night, Maskalar. <laughs> three times today, you've had a turn three scoop after you've cast Vivian. Maybe I need to do this update. I don't really want to do the update though. That a little while ago, there said there was an update. 
the arena is a little laggier than normal tonight. This way, your deck's doing awesome. New cards are like, you know, ways, new ways for people to make mistakes. Uh, playing against uh, cards that you don't recognize too much. Yeah, youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. That's the YouTube channel. You're welcome. You're welcome, Durls. Glad you're loving the Gruel list. If you were to play Mono White, how would you build it? Probably just pretty stock. Mono White's the kind of deck that um, that just a lot of people have, have played and everything. A lot of people have built. All right, never mind. So it didn't really feel like there was any reason to show our opponent anything of like what we were doing. So they don't have a good way to sideboard. Well, we do. We do, right? Do we have? Do we have good sideboard cards? Yeah, it seems like we have good sideboard cards. Man, these things are like flying. Also, yeah, this looks this looks legit. This looks legit. Arcbow gets underneath counter spells. Arcbow could be kind of nice. Can't counter anything. Ooh, let's try it out. Let's try it out. Um, what would I, what, what's a cuttable card here? I love Vivian. I love the, you know, creatures as though they had flash and vigilance and reach. Like Vivian's awesome. Nah, House of Taker's not too slow. Reclamation is good for Curious Obsession, but the problem is, is all of my cards are good. That's kind of a, so it's like, what what do you do when all your cards are good? No, Krasis is just an all-star, because it can get countered and draw cards still. I guess I'll just get rid of the Roalesk. Yeah, Krasis is just a, an all-star. Oh, Masker Girl. Oh, I should be playing Masker Girl here, shouldn't I? We have too many good cards. Blech. I guess I would maybe do need to take out a hostage taker. Two drop. We need a two drop there. Draw land. in here helping out
Draw some more land. Alright, good. We need more black mana now. <laughs> this is the first time we played against Mono Blue all day, though. And, you know, we've played like 35 matches or whatever now, so we're gonna have to play against Mono Blue eventually. I haven't played against it yet. I haven't found a deck I haven't found a deck yet that like really uses blast zone well. It's like a curious obsession. Yuck. We find like a branch walker would be nice. Tear it down. Tear it all down. Okay, harpooner is good. Like a, that was a great hit for us. Let's do this again. Yeah, the harpooner was a great card for us. <laughs> Cannon, what what are you trying to trying to find? Yeah, there you go. The deck. There you go. <laughs> More cards, please. Would have preferred black mana here. Really would have preferred black mana. Well, we, we only have two black mana, so we can't, yeah, we can't Chupacabra into cast down. It's not gonna work.
So these things could turn into, what, four ones? Block one with the Doom Whisperer. If they don't attack, then the uh, these Curious Obsessions are gone. No, they're they can't be blocked by green creatures. Doom Whisperer is not a green creature, so Doom Whisperer can block Surge Mare. And so just putting down like basically I, I could kill one Surge Mare, but then they get to attack with the other, and then I would like kind of like jumping mode. If they don't attack, the Curious Obsessions are gone. Alright, let's go to eight. I'm not gonna I'm not going any lower, but I'm gonna go to eight. I will take that harpooner, please. Thank you. Oh man, arena's being so laggy today. Ugh. Come on. I'm gonna play my chupacabra. Thank you. So obviously they have enough mana to adapt the Terramander here, obviously. All right, so just hitting for 10. Next turn, can kill them. We will have our Chubacabra chump block the Surge Mare. Could be sleep. I think we'd be just fine though. Rawr, 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 rawr. Okay. Well, that went really well. Um, I mean, after a while. So yeah, Massacre Girl seems like she could probably do a lot. I also like, I kind of like Contempt also. So if, I guess I'm cutting one Hostage Taker. And then what, do we cut a Vivian Champion of the Wilds? No Massacre Girl. 
I don't really, yeah, we're gonna get rid of Massacre Girl. Because by the time that we're playing Massacre Girl, they're like going crazy with Curious Obsession and may not, may not be able to kill stuff. So Harpooner can resolve. Ooh. Um. Just gonna use that so that there's another one mana flying creature we get to Harpooner it. I don't think I need a hostage taker of that thing. And let's play Branch Walker, look for another Black Source. Or any either of our Vivians. I guess we only have the one Vivian in play. Or the one Vivian in our deck. <laughs> we have we have more black sources than than blue sources, but it doesn't doesn't seem like it. Actually, do we? Maybe we actually have the same. That is going to be a 5-0. Where's my victory fanfare? Sultai Flash. With the 5-0. Claim this prize. Update this over here. Ooh, new rare. So this is this has got to be for the, the new set. Because I have all of the rares in standard that are not... I just realized that I was saying Sultai Vivian the whole time. Sultai Flash. Wow. Mythic, Mythic. That was even a War of the Spark Mythic that we uh, that we already had. No. And then New Rare. Blast Zone. That was a really great reward for Sultai Flash there. Yeah, great league. Thank you so much, Sultai Flash. That worked out really well. In fact, you know, we got those extra... Let's buy a pack. Let's celebrate that 5-0 and this awesome 12-hour stream that has been going so well, with y'all being amazing, with cracking open a pack. Let's see what we got. Ooh, Dreadhorde Arcanist. We're going to need that card for a Feather deck. We're going to need that one. Never thought I'd see another land printed for Legacy Lands. Yeah. Didn't think so. It was. No, Field of Ruins, not Legacy Land. Man. Awesome deck. Uh, yeah, not, not too much to say. Vivian Champion of the Wilds, though, was awesome. That card was was great. Like we played against a couple Esper opponents where we got to play it on turn two. You know, like yeah, this card was really fun. Like turn one Land War Elf, turn two Vivian. Um, you know, that's before Thought Erasure. Uh, when we're whenever we're on the play before Counter Magic, they're just gonna deal with it. And then and then after that, we just got to play instant speed the rest of the game, and they just couldn't, couldn't deal with it. You know, that was just too too difficult. And then you know we did whiff on the minus a few times, but still just getting it down so early it was awesome this card is really good i would say gideon black blade and over god eternal oketra you gotta craft one of those i think black blade is probably better um but yeah this vivian is is awesome so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to keep trying this card out maybe some other shells um yeah roalesque didn't do anything. We didn't. We didn't do anything with Roalesque. I mean, we did play it one time. Um, 
yeah, I mean, we did play it one time. And it died. But... Or no, it didn't die. It killed our opponent after a little while. I don't remember what they were playing. I remember we played this in one of the games. Um, that can definitely... Like, that can be something else. You know, like, this is our, our, like, you know, wanting to try it out and everything. Massacre Girl can probably be something else. We still haven't gotten to Arc Bow anybody yet. We played one Arc Bow in the, in the Gruul midrange deck. In the Gruul midrange sideboard, we had one Arc Bow. In this deck, we had one Arc Bow. And so in those 13... 13 matches, even though we won 12 of them, we got to play Arkbo zero times, and so that's sad. You want to play Ronus and Carnage Tyrant? This isn't really a Ronus deck. It's like instant speed Ronus doesn't really have like its ability of pumping your creature's power on your opponent's turn. This isn't really a Ronus deck. Um... Yeah, Carnage Tyrant's a good, a good a good option there. For sure. Yeah, Carnage Tyrant could work. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye's kind of trying not to cough up a, ha a hairball kind of thing. If you could hear Hawkeye there. Um, so there, there's Soul Tie Flash. All right, so if you are watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, thank you so much, first of all, and hope you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button over there.